Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing an unboxing of the Nilfisk Core 140 electric jet wash. Um, Nilfisk have very kindly sent me this jet wash and have asked me if I will do an unboxing review and assembly and we're going to test it as well. Uh, I think we're going to wash the van with it, we're going to do the my patio outside. Um, I haven't paid for the advert, so whatever I tell you um, in the review will be 100% my thoughts on the product. I've uh, not been paid for it. They have said I can keep it after I'm done, so my brother's very happy because he's going to get himself a pressure washer. Um, so it's 140 max bar. Uh, they've also sent me the added value pack. Now this is available. This is available from B and Q, and I will put the link in the description below for the for this jet wash uh, at B and Q. So uh, so let's get into the unboxing. We'll get everything out. We'll have a look at what we've got, how it goes together, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll see exactly what we get. So let's get into it. Okay, now we've got the boxes open, let's get everything out and let's see exactly what we get inside. There is a spray bowl, which I guess is for your shampoo for car cleaning. We have some other bags with some bits and pieces in. Handles, holders. That's part of the lance, the handle. For the wheel. Trigger gun. That feels nice and solid actually. And then the actual unit itself. I'll show the actual sticker that's on the back in a minute that tells you, gives you some uh, guidance on if you're cleaning a bike, fence, car, you've got power one, power two, power three, door barrel, brickwork, soft brush, power three, patio cleaners, power two, the slabs, power three for walls. So it gives you a bit of indication. Got plenty of wire on it, that's, that's really good. I hate it when you buy new stuff and you get like, this much wire on it, it's not ridiculous, but uh, there's, um, no, there's there's plenty of uh, plenty of electric cable on this. I must admit, I do like this design with the with the, the uh, rolling in of the uh... yeah, that's quite good. Let's just lift that up to for you. So basically, you would pull that pull that out, and then when you're ready, you just roll it in that's a really nice feature i must admit i really do like that because i've used other electric ones in the past even my petrol one um and i do need to get a real fitted on that um the hoses always go everywhere and you end up winding that that's a really nice to keep it all together that's really nice um so let's find out what else we're going to be doing in here and then we'll start putting it together screws there these are for the wheels that is obviously your water attachment which will screw into the back there so there's a little protective cover on that which we don't need anymore screw on there you can actually if you want put some you know the plumbers ptf tape around that the white tape um but we'll see how that goes without the tape uh let's move this one out i'll say get plenty of wire so get that. Get 
that will be shown there. And then we have some, some nice covers. Milfis, a couple of Milfis covers, which we'll find out where they go in a minute. And we have some nice other bits and pieces in there as well. There is also that which was sellotaped, sellotaped to the front. So let's uh, get a nice booklet with it, obviously, as you usually do. Just put the screws there. Instruction booklet of how to assemble it, which we're going to go through now. Um, which is to be fair, it all seems pretty straightforward. So, me planning ahead, didn't grab a screwdriver, so I'll be back in one minute. Quick minute. So, we'll go through the instructions. So, that goes, that goes on the bottom. So, the small one clips into the bottom. Like so. And then on the back there then is a screw that side and a screw that side. So you get a little bag of screws. There we go. So all the screws in here are all the same size. So you're not going to worry about picking up the wrong screw. So and you don't have to over tighten these as well. A lot of people uh, when they assemble stuff they tend to over tighten over tighten screws they go in nice and easy normal phillips head screwdriver so that's that bottom bottom rail screwed in which puts it on its on its feet let's make a little bit more room so the next piece to put in is the holder which holds the gun. That goes around the back here, just move that out of the way. Without me dropping it. Just looking for the screw holes. Okay, well, now we've screwed the bottom rail in. I've only put the one screw in this side. I've left this one out for the simple reason that, <clears throat> that this is what holds your lance. That clicks in there, clicks in, and then you screw that, which holds the bottom rail and the bottom <clears throat> of your holder in. So, Two screws in there. Okay, so that's that one. Next, it tells us to put the wheel holders on, which will screw click onto there and screw goes in the end and then we can attach the wheels so let's get two of those on two more screws Yeah. <clears throat> 
<coughs> okay, now the wheel holders are screwed into place there. We can now click the wheels on. that they're actually splayed on the end so once you push it on it holds the wheel in place nice and good and then those those two blue things that I showed you will click inside into the uh, into the wheel as a cover so we just drop one in those in and sign this side push those in so we now have our wheels both sides clicked in so that's that one Next, it tells us to put the, um, I've already actually done it, but it tells you to put that, your attachment for your hose on, which I've already done. Um, and it does tell you to make sure you screw it on square. I mean, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but as you can see, they're saying to make sure you get your thread on nice and square. So you don't, if you get it a bit sort of cocked or off angle, you could cross thread it. But um, we, we all know how to do that, don't we? So next piece to put in is this, which I think is for the, that's for the electric cable. Okay, this piece goes on next, which slots into there. Make sure I'm, what I'm doing. And then once that piece is pushed in, and clicked in that pin that I showed you goes in this center piece here so we've clicked that into there we've now got the pin that I've just dropped that pin has now got to sit inside there so we'll get it in the right way and push that in Okay, that pins in. We're now going to put this piece on next, which is the, for the reel. And then you just pop your cap on. Um, before you pop your cap on, in your bag of screws, you will get one of these washers. That washer goes through the screw and into the screwdriver and into there. That's done up nice and tight and just pop your cover on. Um, there are two little holes inside and that just clicks in. If you need to take that out, there is a hole just there you could always ping the cover off if you needed to. Next, we put the handle in. And again, we've got two screws left. And we screw that into the back. On that side, on this side, remember again, you don't need to over tighten these. Um, You don't have to be the world's strongest man to clamp them up tight. Once it bites and you, and you can feel it going in tight, you're done. So there's the, the unit done. Um, and I must admit, it's quite light. Um, so that's done. What are they telling us to do next? Next, we're going to put the lance together, which is very straightforward. Um, as you can see, that's your lance fitting. So you just twist it in, 
push it all the way in, twist, and you're locked into position. Um, there is an end in this bag. You actually get two different ends. You get that end that's got gentle written on it, and then this one says rough. And if you can hear that, that is your that acts the same as a turbo nozzle, so it will spin a spiral out when it cleans. To attach that in, you just press the blue button in, push it into place, and it's in. And that's in solid. To get it out, push the blue button in and you can swap over your ends. You can actually just push it in and then press it to release. That's it, that was just me making hard work of it. Clicks in, clicks out. So, yep, that's the lance. Um, for the bottom end, which is a bit of hose out, that just clicks in and then you press that button to take it out. So click that in. Uh, there's a, a safety here. Press that down. You can pull the trigger. Push that in. You can't. So obviously if you're using it and the, the kids are out in the garden or somebody runs over and grabs the gun, press that in. They can't accidentally pull the trigger. So that comes out nice and easy. That then sits in the holder in there and without the drop in it, that sits in the holder nice there. Uh, at the back, if I just come a little bit further back, you can wind your hose round. And then actually, if you so those are the ends. They actually sit in the back there, so they're with you at all times. They click in just nicely. Your hose, or sorry, the hose, the electric cable. Um, if you just wind that in, like so, let's just untangle that a little bit. If we just untangle that. And then this little rubber, um, it's like a, I don't know how to explain, it's like a rubber band almost. You just pull that right over and that holds all your, all your cables in nice and neat and tidy. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you assemble your Nilfisk 140. I'm just going to bring you over that just so you can have a look. Your nozzles just sit in those those two little areas there nice and neat that's the band to hold your cable in so that's all nice and neat your gun just sits in that little section there and those are your guidance for what power settings to have on and which nozzle you want to use now as I said, you do get the foam attachment with the the Core 150, um, and the only things you need are a pair of scissors and a Phillips screwdriver. You don't need any other screwdrivers at all. I put the one side on. I go with the cutout and this flush to the edge. That sits on the inside, and then your basket will slide straight on top of these two brackets. That then slides inside. 
and now you have a basket on the top. So that's uh, pretty good. This other attachment you get with the Alu Vadi pack is for drain cleaning. It's a drain and tube cleaner. Now this would be really good if your gutters are blocked um, or your just your general drain is blocked. Um, you get um, you actually get a nice a nice little uh, diagram here, which you could also block toilets with it. I can show you that. As you can see, somebody's unblocking a toilet there, sink. Uh, if you've got a wet room and it gets blocked, you can push it down there. And you can also use it for outside drains as well. And put the baskets on. The accessory basket is quite good actually because that's your snow foam lance that's for putting your car shampoo in and that clicks in same as the other ends do that clicks in so you can obviously attach that to your gun and that's your that's your um that's for your when you spray your car if you're going to use the drain the drain tube cleaner for sinks, toilets, or anything like that. Actually disconnect, so you've just got the handle, and that handle then will attach to this end of the tube, exactly the same as the other one does. Now you're good to go with your drain hose. Now if you look on the end of the, the hose, that's the end that you get. Now you also get another end, which is attached onto there. Now, if you unscrew that nut and take this piece off and put the other one on, they're both for different things. And it says in the booklet that um, the dry nozzle is used for large pipes such as sewers, etc. The turbo nozzle is for smaller tubes, base pipes, down pipes, etc. Um, and as you can see on the instructions there, it shows you how to change the end depending on which end with, with what you're doing. But we will test that. When we do the, the test run, we'll fire that up and we'll, we'll see how each one sprays out the end. Um, really good. If I just take that off there. If you look at how that sits there, it actually sits in that groove. That's what it's designed for. So, I mean, you could hang it. You could hang it that way, I suppose. But you're better to hang it that way in and then that can go in the back, as well as your drain tube holder. If we disconnect that from the lance, you can actually keep all of that in that accessory basket. Put that back in there. That can sit inside there like that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your Nilfisk Core 140 electric jet wash. Um, got three power settings, which is really good. I really do like this design of you can pull out as much hose as you want. I will put some specification in the description as well um, because I'll be, able to, I'll be able to get the description and let you know how much hose is on it um, and, and any other specification, weight, height, size, that, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. It goes together really easy. Um, just remember that this is only a DIY machine. It's for somebody that wants to wash the car on the weekend or somebody that's got maybe a small one car driveway or a two car driveway. For that sort of thing, these are going to be great. It's not for professional use, obviously, as you guys watch the channel. You know I do a lot of jet washing. I've got a big, um, a big petrol machine, which obviously does all my my big jobs and my commercial jobs but this this would be great to just you know just pull out it's also good to have as a backup if the, if the petrol one was to break down for whatever reason i'm quite confident that um i'd be able to take this along with me if i needed to get out of a pinch just to finish a job maybe i think it'd be okay but uh but it is only for the, the general diy guys so um thanks for watching i hope it's helpful um
there will be a video following on from this at some point um, where I will try it on the van. I'm going to wash the van. It's a good excuse to wash the van. And we're going to do some of the patio slabs out in my back garden. Uh, we'll give it a, a go with the uh, with the surface cleaner. And uh, we'll also try the, the, drain, the drain cleaner as well. So thanks for watching and look out for the video of it uh, actually in motion and working. Thanks for watching guys.